welcome friends let us now understand how exactly point can be created in AutoCAD before that uh, let me explain what is point point is a geometrical entity that doesn't have size or shape uh, whereas a location of a particular point can be identified by two different coordinates that is uh, x and y coordinates in case of 2d space whereas in case of 3d space it can be identified by three different coordinates x y and then z now in case of AutoCAD let us see how exactly we can create a particular point so point PO if I enter that is more than sufficient to define the point here I have to define the coordinates of a particular point in coordinate, uh, Cartesian coordinate method so I can enter the position of point in x direction as well as y direction you can see here so from this particular origin so it is going to be generated at 500 in x direction and then 250 in y direction so I am going to enter the coordinates as 500 comma 250 so the point exactly is going to be created in a place which is at a distance 250 in the vertical direction and then 500 in the horizontal direction you can see here from this point to this point 500 uh, units and from this reference to this point 250 units so that is how I can create point now let us understand how exactly we can change the geometrical representation of a particular point so there are two different uh, commands for that DDP type and PD mode so now let us see what is DDP type that is DDP type so in this case so we have got 20 different symbols for representation purpose so this is assigned with value 0 1 2 3 4 so here we have got circle plus combination of these symbols so circle is assigned with the value 32 if I want to change the symbolic representation of this particular point I can click a particular symbol straight away as it is you can see you can observe the difference so I am changing it like this so it is getting changed so now I got the representation like this so this is one way of changing the representation of a particular point or I can do one more thing so I can assign the values using the command PD mode so here the values assigned for these symbols are 0 1 2 3 4 these uh, five symbols are basic in nature after that you will have combination of circle along with these symbols square along with these symbols and then combination of circle and then square along with these symbols so circle is assigned with value 32 square is assigned with value 64 and then combination of square and circle is assigned with value 96 so you may understand one particular thing so here we have got uh, circle that is 32 plus 0 32 so in order to get this symbol I have to enter the value 32 plus 1 so that is 33 to get the symbol 32 plus 2 that is 34 so 32 plus 3 35 32 plus 4 36 so how to get this particular 36 this particular symbol how to enter the value 36 so I can use one more command that is known as PD mode so you can enter the command PD mode and here you can enter it as 36 now I got the symbolic representation this particular symbol I got so you can observe here so this is only the representation so you cannot say the shape of the point is like this it is only symbolic representation of a particular point similarly you can draw a number of points at a, at a stretch you can change this particular points so using this particular command that is PD mode or DDP type you can change the value so if I want to change to some other shape I can enter the value now let us see how exactly we are going to do this so that is DDP type in this so 0 1 2 3 4 32 33 34 35 36 and then 64 65 66 67 68 this is 96 because 96 is com combination of circle as well as square plus this is 0 so here 96 plus 1 is 97 so this is 98 combination of square circle and then this symbol so put together it is 96 plus 2 is 98 so in order to get this particular thing I have to enter the value as 99 
So let us go to the command PD mode and enter the value 99. So it got changed. You can observe here, you can go to uh, DDP type and then see here the symbol is resembling. So you would have understood what is the difference between PD mode and then DDP type. In case of DDP type, you are going to directly select the symbol which is going to represent a point. In case of PD mode, you are going to assign the value. Okay. Now, uh, let me tell you one more thing that is how to ex how exactly I can measure the coordinates of a particular point. So, I am entering the coordinates of a particular point, for example, PO. So, at 400 in x direction and then 250 in y direction. So, 400 in x direction and then 250 in 250 in y direction. So, a point is generated. So, there is a command known as id. Here, what you can do is you can use the control button. So, in order to note the uh, find out the coordinates of a particular point, what you can do is you can use the control button and then uh, right click this. So, you can uh, select a particular option that is node. You can select this node. Here, you can find the coordinate values of a particular point. So similarly, you have one more method that is known as list, L-I-S-T. So using that also, you can find out the coordinates of a particular point. So select this, you will get the coordinates there. So that's all for today. Thank you, friends.